good morning retro biker here again this morning we're out on the Kawasaki Z1000SX just gonna go for a little ride huge improvement in the weather haven't quite got the same wind protection on this one as we have on the Explorer, so I'm just wondering what the wind noise is going to be like. We've got virtually the same amount of power at our disposal on the Z, but uh, the delivery is a lot more exciting. Just put the heated grips on. rain clouds around, there's showers forecast but we're hoping to dodge them I have to remember that we don't have the self-cancelling indicators on the Z Getting a little bit of tyre wear on here now, the tyres are coming close to their usable life so we're getting a little bit of white lining, a bit of banding it's not too bad in the dry but it's uh, a little disconcerting in the rain it has to be said we've got a new set of uh, PR4s ready to put on So we're dropping down into Margate Harbour Looking quite resplendent on this fine morning I think I need to tweak the clutch adjustment a little bit Biting a little bit too early Margate Seafront Rain clouds over the clock tower Heated grips are warming up nicely. We've got the hand guards on as well now, that helps keep the wind off. Only just make full lock with these hand guards on though, they're power bronze. And with the Puge screen, only just make full lock.
quite as upright on the Z as we are on the Tiger, so I'm hoping that the camera is pointing in a good direction and not too far down. My head is forward a little bit more. white fifteen thousand four hundred miles on the Kawasaki now not two years old until August really hasn't done too many miles this winter as I've been using the Explorer and I'll be touring on the new Tiger 800 XRT this summer so the Kawasaki goes into well, I'm not really semi-retirement but it'll uh, it'll come out on nice warm summer sunny days and go for a black out in the country with the boys from H's maybe the odd trip up to Brands for a weekend's racing but the camping and touring will be done on the Tiger help to keep the miles off this little baby somewhat they've been 15,400 absolutely glorious miles thoroughly enjoyed it even touring on it, although the riding position is less comfortable than the Tiger. Certainly copes with the motorway miles very comfortably. Super smooth engine. Exciting power delivery. Handling can be a little bit quirky at times, especially at low speeds. The view out of the rear view mirrors isn't nearly as good as it is on the Tiger, it's adequate. So we'll stop in my favourite place. So let's have a little look at the Z1000SX then. It's a 2016 model few little tweaks and uh, accessories I put on it. One of the best things I ever had done was having this seat reworked by Tony Archer in Huddersfield. Had it reshaped and a gel pad put in. It's so much more comfortable and I think it looks pretty cool with the green piping on. I've got a set of Vance and Heinz Urban Brawlers uh, to go on it. Well they've been on it. They go on and off. Uh, quite noisy so not all that comfortable when touring, quite tiring when touring so I tend to swap them on and off a little bit. Uh, we've got a huge screen, light smoke huge screen, slightly better wind protection than the standard. But I say there is, it just does just foul these uh, hand guards a little bit. These were the latest edition. We've got the anodized green levers, <coughs> we've got the gear indicator which I added quite neatly I think. The yoke protector protects it from the keys. Tank ring for the Jivy tank bag. We've got the RNG adjustable tail tidy that will slide in and out. I have to slide it out a bit to put the panniers on but if the panniers are not going in it can be tucked right in under the back seat. 
Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, we've added the Optimate lead so we can put it on the charger. And I think that's pretty much it. Tank pad, of course, and a few little knee pads that I added myself. It's very nice, smooth, four-cylinder, 1043cc, four-cylinder engine. Puts out about 140 brake horsepower. Can't remember what the torque figures are. Uh, delivers the power very smoothly. Nice gearbox, much nicer gearbox than the Tiger Explorer. No clunks at all. Oh, I forgot we added the Oxford heated grips as well. Uh, so there she is. That's my Z1000SX. Oh, one other thing. We've got the PD chain oiler added. Keeps the chain lube. That's the original chain, as I say, done 15,500 miles now. Still loads of wear left in it. I don't know whether you can see the sprocket, the teeth on the sprocket under there. A little bit of wear starting to show. A few, few thousand miles left in them yet. So there she is. I'm going to turn off again now. I'll be back on the road when we're riding. So we'll get back on the road again now. Highlight a couple of things about riding the Z1000SX. It's got two power modes, full power and low power. Uh, to be honest, I've only ever tried it in low power. It stays in full power all of the time. It's got three levels of traction control. And we just adjust that in the rain parts if we need it. At the moment, it's in the least intrusive. Traction control mode. There she goes. Quite a nice dash. As I say, this is the 2016 model and I have to say I was a fan of this colour scheme. I'm not a great fan of the 17 and 18 colour schemes, especially the orange version they brought out for 2017 the 2018 green is gorgeous but they've matched it with a, a sort of a metallic grey which I don't think does a lot for it so in my opinion and that's all it is I think this is the nicest looking colour scheme very very tractable engine very easy to ride around town in slow traffic and will cruise very comfortably at illegal speeds on the motorway if you're that way inclined very comfortably I think according to the tech spec it's supposed to be capable of 150 miles an hour although of course I've never been anywhere near that got adjustable preload on the rear only ever adjust that by a couple of notches now when I'm loaded up tend not to take pillions it's a great bit of parking there mate it's remotely adjustable preload on the back very easy to do Z1000S8 owners will know what I'm talking about. So I added the gear indicator myself. Incorporated it nice and neatly, I think, into the dash panel. Added a 12 volt socket as well. Got the ram mount there and the lead for the sat nav. So there we are, 30 mile an hour, 4th gear, 
two and a half thousand RPM but very tractable if I open it up from there it'll go really nice turn of power from very low RPM but once it hits the six seven thousand revs it takes off like a scalded cat obviously not going to demonstrate that around town what else can I tell you about the Z1000SX the original stock tyres were crap to put it mildly uh, quite scary in the wet but these Michelin Pilot Road 4s have been excellent very good mileage out of them, got over 10k out of these they're getting a bit flat now that's just Margate Turner Contemporary Centre up ahead behind that is the lifeboat station used to be the entrance to the old pier where the clock is go steady past the police station nice bike to ride get it on the right roads thrilling obviously don't want to do too much of that hooligan stuff around town in fact I don't want to do any of that hooligan stuff around town Bill Lido very easy smooth clutchless up changes on this uh, machine as well who needs a quick shifter what else can we tell you fuel consumption average fuel consumption over the 15,000 miles that I've done has been 48.5 miles to the gallon and that's a whole range of riding so I have done quite a lot of touring on it which obviously helps to improve that figure just filled it up got a range of 172 miles I've done probably 10 miles since I filled it up so 180 to 200 mile tank range I think is quite reasonable nice little bump in the road there we'll avoid that just get a chance to open it up a little bit for demonstration purposes when we get up here I won't go too silly so there we are three and a half thousand rpm in third 34 mile an hour And we didn't even reach the 7,000 mark where it becomes a hooligan.
getting quite a lot of bugs in my face this morning or on my visor that's a good sign spring might be on its way after the snow we had last week get the bike out on any fast roads this morning we'll save that for another day I think we've got a few bits and pieces across so very well balanced at these crawling sort of speeds very well balanced a little bit of the hooligan not too bad so they're just a few bits very short brief ride on the Z1000SX uh, I'll try at some point to do a, a more comprehensive look at it when I can get out on some better roads as well so that's it for now hope you like the video if you do please like and subscribe Retro Biker signing off